Imagine being Superman or Superwoman, having the ability to be anywhere when someone needs help, and having the empathy to understand how they feel like. Pretty cool. But not all of us are Superman or Superwoman. We are average Aucklanders who spend a lot of time and money commuting through Auckland traffic. <laughs> Mostly more than an hour every single day. Well, COVID has shown us that some of our work, to a certain extent, can be done remotely. Now that's all behind us, and I'm glad that you're all here in person. But we could have done this remotely had there been a better platform than Zoom. And that's what I'm working on. So to demo demonstrate that, let me take an example. Try to visualize going on a road trip and getting stuck in a very remote place because your car broke down. Your best bet for help with the current technology is to call a mechanic or a friend who's good with cars. Now, while they're trying to help you, they might eventually get frustrated because they lack the spatial cues standing next to the vehicle. You, on the other hand, might also get frustrated when the mechanic says something like, check the spark plug, because you might not know what that means. It's often followed by a difficult conversation of, how does it look like, where can I find it, and so on. So to ease this, we've developed a cluster of cameras that can capture and stream content of the surrounding in 3D. As you can see, an entire building, in entire room in Auckland Bioengineering Institute it is being captured and streamed here. So if the mechanic or the remote expert wears a virtual reality headset, he or she can move around the space as if they're standing right there. Adding on to this, that most of us these days wear a smartwatch or a Fitbit or some kind of health tracking device. These devices have access to a lot of physiological signals like heart rate, stress level, EEG, CG, and so on. With this information, these devices can get the emotional state of the person, like they're happy, sad, confused, and so on. Right, so when the mechanics ask to check the spark plug, if he gets to know that the other person got confused, he could explain it further before the other person asks for it. So in a nutshell, combining the ability to be anywhere and to understand how the other person feels like is what my research is about. So we've published this as an open source framework and is being used as a base for future researchers in this domain. And with this framework, you don't actually have to imagine being a Superman. You can become one. <laughs>